previously on Just Add Magic. Why would she lie to Jake about being sick? Something's definitely up. I have the book now, and I plan on keeping it. You stole it from us. Hey, I had it first. I found it in high school. This man knows how to use the book? He's a former protector. There were other protectors after us? Who are you? We're all in danger. Someone knows about the magic. Who? Who knows about the magic? I'm, I'm sorry, what? Why would someone spell RJ so that he'd forget about the magic? I don't know, but someone's out there. And they're dangerous. Serious, guys. Who would erase RJ's knowledge of magic? Who could erase RJ's knowledge of magic? Kelly? I'll be right there. It wasn't us and it wasn't one of the OCs. That means someone we don't know about is doing magic. Kelly? If RJ was a protector, there are two others out there. They could be involved. We need to find them. Didn't you hear me yelling? Oh, I said I'm coming. I have a surprise for you. For all of you. Come on. Keep your eyes shut, no peeking. They're shut, we promise. Okay, one, two, three. Open your eyes. Ta-da! You surprised? You could say that. Grandma. Hi, girls. Mom found this abandoned in Lavender Heights. It's a classic, and the city was just going to junk it. <laughs> so I offered to take it off their hands. Mom thinks that since I'm working from home now, you girls don't have enough space. Yeah, you can turn it into a clubhouse and have some privacy. There's even a stove so you can cook. Thanks, Grandma. That's a great idea. But I think we need to clear out the bad juju first. Yeah, something tells me that last occupant wasn't so nice. Or maybe he just missed his sister. What? Uh, you know, I know it doesn't look like much now, but a little fresh paint, some redecorating, you're never going to want to leave. You're right. We should make it all white and modern. Oh, yeah, and maybe add some beanbag chairs. Yes, we do our best thinking in beanbag chairs. <laughs> Enjoy, girls. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, Jake, don't open that. Why not? It's a new menu. Oh, that's coming in a different package. This one's personal. It's for me. Oh, sorry, honest mistake. No worries. Thanks. I don't know, you guys. Do you really think that we're going to find the other protectors by looking in old Lavender Heights high school yearbooks? RJ went here, so his friends probably did too. And the cookbook always chooses three best friends, like the OCs and us. So there's got to be pictures of them together. It's not like we are always together. Yeah, you're right. All right, check this out. In 1995, R.J. White was the AV club training and the football team's equipment manager. He looks dorky. Well, look what happened in 1996. R.J. was quarterback of the football team and class president and homecoming king. He still looks dorky. Then, in 1997, he's barely visible, except for being voted most likely to get detention. 1996 was his year of awesome. That's when he must have had the book. Now we just have to find pictures of RJ and his two BFFs.
This is hopeless. In every picture of RJ, he's either by himself or in a class full of students. It's hard to tell who he's friends with and who he's just next to. Guys, in the 90s, they had a student-produced morning show, Good Morning Lavender Heights. Does it look as lame as Rockbury AM and its student exposés? Oh, that's not the point. Look at this. That's RJ. Yeah. He was interviewed, and he has a friend with him. That could be one of the other protectors. We need to find that interview. But how? All we have to do is look through old episodes of Good Morning Lavender Heights until we find it. It's kind of a long shot. Maybe, but I don't have any other ideas. You? Not really. Excuse me? Is it possible to watch old episodes of Good Morning Lavender Heights? Yes, but why would you want to? We are researching the 90s for history. They're teaching the 90s in history? I need to retire. Stay here. Are these the shows on old hard drives? They're not hard drives, they look like tapes. It's how they watch TV before computers. There sure are a lot of them. Um, may we borrow these? Sure. As long as you have a VCR. No idea what that is, but we'll find one. If anybody has a VCR, it's Miss Silvers. She still uses a landline phone. Let's go. Hey, Red. You have an overdue book, don't you? Yeah. How'd you know? You look the type. I haven't used it in a while, but it should do the trick. Where's the remote? <sighs> right here. Oh. Hey, at least you won't lose it. Girls, someone is out there using dangerous magic. I know, but why would they erase RJ's memory of magic? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I know how. I can't recall Carmel. That's the spell you used on Chuck. It didn't work on him because, well, we know why. But on a normal person, it erases their knowledge of magic. Thanks, Miss Silvers, and thanks for the VCR and TV. You're welcome. Uh, Hannah, I will see you later today for your lesson. Yes, of course. I'm really sorry I had to cancel the last few. Save your apologizing for after I hear your box variation one. <laughs> What was that about? I don't have time to take piano lessons anymore. Too much schoolwork. Really, but you love piano. I'm dreading telling Miss Silvers. We have such a good time together. I, I think she loves the lessons as much as I do. Yeah, it's not like she has much else going on. I'm sure she'll be fine. Come on, carry a big TV here. Oh, hey. Just in time. Dad, uh, this is supposed to be our private clubhouse. Sorry, just excited to show you what I found in the attic. Paint, lights, all sorts of stuff for redecorating. That's awesome. Thanks, Mr. Quinn. Yeah, looks like we can make this place nice. Let me show you what else I did. Electricity. This is perfect. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. So, I don't know how that fly got in here. Well, where'd you get that VCR? From Miss Silvers. Uh, we're doing some research and we have to watch some old tapes. Hey, can you help us hook it up to this old TV? No problem. Happy to help. Okay. Um, oh. Okay. Pop right there. Never thought I'd see a VCR again. They're making a comeback. They are? Next thing you've been telling me, eight tracks are coming back. And that's my cue to leave. Have fun. All right, let's visit 1996. Good morning, Lavender Heights. I'm Vicki Schreiber. Today's top story, how come the lunchroom's hot dogs aren't hot? With me, I have veteran lunch lady Janet Williamson. So what's the deal with the cold dogs? Fast forward. Janet, there have been complaints from the student body that they've been receiving... Today, we introduce the first of our three-part series, Chemistry in Chemistry, When Lab Partners Fall in Love. I got this one. Chemistry class, the biggest question. 
you think of the principal's proposal to ban pajama pants? Bogus, man. These pants rock. Do you feel stupid? No, they do not. Wear whatever they want. My turn. Yeah. It's an expression of who I really Wait, am. Wait, look, in the background. Well, you heard it here first, Lavender High. RJ! Good catch, Darby. RJ's with a few friends, but I, I can't see their faces. And I think that's the same girl he was with in the yearbook photo. I'll keep going. <sighs> Let's try to find the interview. It has to be in one of these tapes. This could take forever. Yeah, there's a lot of tapes to go through. Only one thing to do about that. Cook. Cook. Speed up spinach souffle. When you have much to do, but not enough chimes, this tasty souffle will slow down time. Not enough chimes? Well, clocks chime on the hour. It means if you don't have enough hours, the spell will slow down time so you can finish your task. It's perfect. Spinach, egg, cheese, and Torian time. Looks like it's all systems go. Uh, how much, Torian? One teaspoon should be enough. That will make the spell last until five o'clock or so. On it. Is anything different? I can't tell. Look at the fly. That's so cool. <gasps> it would have taken us a week to get through all those tapes, but now we can watch them on fast forward in just one afternoon. Let's do it. Good morning, Lavender High This is the school's fault or other factors that fell into the crush in the grade. Others, it could be the dinner and the movie. Well, you're learning here first, Lavender High The latest trend for girls, the Rachel haircut. But is it right for everyone? I'm going to tell you where to get it. How much it costs. Hey, is, is that right RJ in the background? With me, I have Jessica. Oh, pause it. Just last week, took the plunge. No, not there. Go back. Wait, stop. Go forward again. Oh, I think we missed it. Go back. Don't pause yet. I didn't. The machine paused by itself. Uh-oh. I think it's broken. Yep, tape stuck in there. Back in the day, this used to happen all the time, but I think I can fix it. How long will it take? Well, I've got a conference call, then I'll have to find my Torx screwdriver, take off the back cover. Mm. Give me a couple of hours. Thanks, Dad. Well, what should we do now? We're still under the spell. This looks so cool. I love it. Chuck had no decorating taste. Well, he was from the 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you think your dad fixed the VCR yet? Uh, guys, that took 20 minutes. What? Well, now what are we gonna do? 
I guess I should go take my last piano lesson with Miss Silvers. And I got a text from Piper. She wants help running lines. I wouldn't mind making a little extra money at Mama P's. Me back here at 3 o'clock to finish the tapes? Sounds good. It's a plan. Hannah, I can't believe you're playing at this tempo. I'm impressed. Was lovely. Thanks. You don't seem too happy about your progress. No, it's not that. I have something to tell you. Okay. This is my last lesson. Oh, super busy here, Mama P. Could use some help. I have to run to the bank. I'll be back in a few minutes. I see she's no longer faking being sick. Now she mysteriously has to run to the bank. <sighs> she's up to something. I don't have time to worry about her. We're slammed. I have a couple of free hours if you need some help. Yes, thank you. I'll take the register. You can work the floor. Nice hustle. Hey, Darby. Hi, Kelly. This is my friend Piper from the play. Piper, this is Kelly from my whole life. Hi, Piper. Nice to meet you. It's awesome meeting you, Kells. Um, it's super busy, so if you want, I can take your order here so you don't have to wait in line. Great. Darby, I know you're having the grilled cheese. Actually, I'd like a hummus and cucumber sandwich. What? Since when do you eat hummus and cucumber sandwiches? Piper introduced them to me. They're pretty delicious. Okay. Um, Piper, what would you like? Whoa. Thank you. No problem. I feel terrible, Miss Silvers. It's just that Mr. Morris piles on the homework and it's so hard. But if I can get my grades up next semester, maybe I can start taking piano again. Don't feel bad, Hannah. I like your priorities. School is more important. Really? So you're not mad? I know you'll come back for more lessons when you have time. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you being so nice about this. Even though you don't have time for lessons, I. Hope you'll stop by just to say hello. I'd love that. <laughs> and I want you to keep me updated on everything you find out about RJ. Of course, I will. Speaking of which, I have been thinking about the spell used on him. I'm not sure it is Can't Recall Carmel. You're not? You said he wasn't eating anything when the spell kicked in. Can't Recall Carmel works instantly. That means he was spelled with something else. What? I have no idea. That's what concerns me. So, what spell are you under? <laughs> Speed up spinach souffle. How'd you know? You've been playing faster than Rachmaninoff. So, let's have some fun. As fast as you feel comfortable. <laughs> I love it. Great job, Kelly. Your hustle got things under control. My feet are killing me. How long have I been working? Ten minutes. But uh, you can take your break anyway. Go join Darby and Piper. I'll bring you a smoothie. Thanks, Jake. I'm on a break. Mind if I join you? Hey, pull up a chair. Any friend of Darby is a friend of mine. So how's the play going? No one can remember their block. Blocking? Actors don't know whether to cross downstage or upstage. Which is which? Exactly. Doesn't matter if you can't project to the cheap seats. Right. <laughs> 
So, um, things are going pretty good? They could be worse, thanks to Darby. She's the best person on crew, and she unlocks the prop locker so I can rehearse with the actual murder weapon. Spoiler alert. I hope you have an extra key to the prop locker. Why? Oh, well, you know Darby, she tends to lose stuff. <laughs> She does. Yeah, that's why I keep an extra key to her mom's house and one to her dad's house and one to her bike lock, you know, because Darby will be Darby. Anything else you want to share with Piper or can we finish eating? I think my break's over. I should go. Yes, you should. Worst break ever. I'll get your smoothie. It's only been a few minutes. No, the spell wore off too soon. What? Nothing. I'll, I'll get a broom. Hey, guys. Is it just me, or is this day taking forever? Okay, what's going on? Kelly treats me like I'm 10. If you don't like it, go have another hummus sandwich with your new bestie. I'm so lost. Can someone fill me in? Kelly totally badmouthed me in front of Piper. She accused me of always losing things. Well, don't you? <sighs> Sorry. I'm not the same irresponsible klutzy Darby I used to be. I mean, I still do have an overdue library book, but I am getting better. Really? Because of you, this spell broke and we're gonna be up all night watching tapes at regular speed. Yeah, what happened with that? I thought the spell was supposed to last till five. Darby didn't put in enough Torian time. You told me to put in a teaspoon and that's what I did. No, I never would have said that. I'm sure I said tablespoon. But you put in a teaspoon because you were just Darby being Darby again. Kelly, you said teaspoon. There's no way that I said Actually, Kel, you did say teaspoon. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Can't believe it. I'm so sorry, Darby. You should be. I guess I, I, I do still think of you as the old Darby. I didn't mean to embarrass you in front of Piper. She seems really nice, by the way. Just tell her not to call me Kells. Well, we still have a lot of tapes to watch. We should get started. As prom season approaches, the to-do list for students grows by the day. Rent the tux, make dinner as People were really into flannel in the 90s. Get the tickets to the prom and combat boots. <laughs> <laughs> And, the yearly and mom jeans. <laughs> that would have been the next tape. The high prices haven't deterred people. Probably still a memory people are willing to pay top. What are you doing? I told you never to come here. Kelly, Hannah, wake up. Look, it's the interview we've been looking for. Why does that girl look so familiar? I don't know, but she definitely does. Fourth and fifth period every day this week. I've seen her somewhere, I just can't place where. Stop by the front of the school and buy some baked goods from RJ White and Noel Jasper. Noel Noel Jasper? The same Noel who owns Saffron? Welcome to Saffron. My name is Noel Jasper, and I wanted to introduce myself. It's not exactly a common name. Let's not jump to conclusions. RJ and Noel might have just been friends. This all looks delicious, Noel. Thanks. You have mango bars, chocolate truffles, and my favorite, brownie bites. Wait, well, mango bars as in magnetic mango time. bars? And bitter truth truffles? Not to mention single serving cinnamon brownie bites. Those must have been magical recipes. It's too much of a coincidence. Guys, this means that Noel Jasper had to have been a 
protector.